And this is the A gate. This is the brains of the operation. The grid runs into here. The batteries run into here. The span smart panel runs into here. That means that all central decision making happens right here. If the grid goes down, it can disconnect the grid, power the batteries up. That way there's no risk of charging the lines and hurting line workers, right? And it can detect the grid. And when the grid comes back, it'll wait, actually. I didn't know this, but it'll wait about 10 or 15 minutes and wait for the grid to stabilize because sometimes that sine wave can be a little sporadic or fluctuating. But as soon as the grid is stable, it'll kick back on and let the batteries charge back up. It does all that right here. And there's one more feature that I hadn't even considered. So what happens when the grid goes down, if you don't have batteries normally with a solar system, is the system says, hey, there's no grid, and shuts down and goes into kind of a standby mode, right? Now, because I have batteries, that never happens. The batteries kick in and the solar keeps working. But what if the solar kicked on, I ran the batteries all the way to empty. The next morning, they wouldn't turn back on. Well, with Franklin, they thought of that too. They have a system called Black Star, which even when the batteries are run down, it will send a signal to the solar inverters and kind of wake them up around 7 o'clock on the hour, 8 o'clock, 9 a.m., and until they turn on to charge the system back up. So worst case scenario, for example, for us in the wintertime, these batteries can't run our house all the way through the night just yet. I would probably need one more or maybe some more solar. But even if that happened, the power would go out for a couple of hours. And then as soon as the sun came up, it would start charging the batteries back up again, all automatically without any intervention from me. That is awesome.